bits out of fluids. Now this is uh, this is pretty much week. I do believe this is almost week six. It's like week five and a half. Week five and a half. This, this one's off. This is ten by ten days behind that hive, and that's week seven. So this is like almost week six. So let's see what we've done. I'm starting this one backwards. I'm gonna do the bottom first. Let's see what we get. And right off the bat, we got frame seven is drawing out. We're uh, pretty much that. Seven only has a little bit of uh, nectar on it. Just starting to draw out there. Let's see what we get with six. A few eggs in here, but it's drawn up. But you notice that this was this is the one I put in backwards mm -hmm. from last week. Look at that. Look at all the honey they've got stored in that one. Some room right down there to lay eggs, but they've definitely built that one out. So this this one definitely took off and that worked to our advantage. one here has got a lot of room to lay. I don't see any few larvae in there. Very young. I don't see any eggs. So looks like she's moved up. Or she's not down here right now. She's definitely not down here. See what we got here and there. Still clustering on that one little section. Get out of there, ladies. Let's see. Let's see what four brings us. Starting to sprinkle a little bit. Well, we definitely got cat brood. Yeah, a few squish bag, uh, bees, that's for sure. Definitely a lot of cat brood in that one. A lot of pollen right here. This one too. Look at all the pollen over here. See how dark it is? Mm -hmm. That's why the, the comb is, is so yellow. It's because it's uh, so dark, but that's, that's good. Let's see what three has for us. Ooh, this is heavy. Oh, we got a ton of pollen down here. And a whole lot of cat brood right there. But ton of pollen on this side. Whatever that dark orange is, they're bringing a lot in, so. Probably the pollen patty. <laughs> it could just be the pollen patty. You're right. Paul and Patty, they never cared about it until about this week. And all of a sudden, it's been an explosion. Well, let's see what two brings us. Two, I think, last week was literally all emerging bees, which looks like that's what it is, except for the very bottom. But there's no, uh, there's no eggs in there. There's no eggs in here either. So let's hope she's up top. Because she's not down the bottom. Nine has a little bit of comb on it, but one is, I'm sorry, yeah, one, look at, it's all honey. A little bit of cat brood right there, see it? Mm -hmm. But that's a little bit of cat brood up top there. So she's kind of laying oddly. Very odd, so this is all gonna turn into honey. Okay, so. Let's, 
on. Oh, let's get these back together. Come on, you guys. That's where they sit right on the center center bar. Starting to rain, I know, ladies. Picked a bad day to do it, but we don't have any other choice. That was our chickens. <laughs> chickens are going. It's starting to rain. Chickens know what to do when it rains. Go in the coop. Okay, so. That's pretty solid we put in together. Now I just got to take add some fluid to the bottom of this. Trying to make it quick. I'm trying. Trickly, you can check the top. Yeah, definitely want to check the top because I haven't really seen any sign of eggs in the bottom. So I'm hoping she's hanging out up top. over and see what we get. That's, oh, that's just heavy. That's for sure. Definitely heavy. Alright, well I did a little bit backwards trying to help fix the comb on the bottom problem. Ten has nothing. Two, three, they're just starting to on one side of four. So let's see what we got. Hoping to find a whole lot of eggs up top here. Otherwise we got ourselves a problem. Well, it's a lot of comb. Oh, there's our queen right there. Beautiful. See her? She's buried in there. Yeah. Okay, so I got her on the end. I'm going to be very careful with mine. Very careful with mine. All right. Oh, that's good, because I was worried about the bottom. So she hasn't been back down the bottom in a while. Look at that. And there's some eggs, but there's eggs. I don't know if you can view, zoom in on those. See how they're on the side? Maybe they just hatched, but they're not in the center where I'd like them to be. They're all laid down low. And this is all eggs. Okay, so she's going crazy on eight. Definitely going crazy on eight. One side, anyways. Oh yeah, cat brood. I love it. Okay, so I already busted it off half of it, anyways. But I mean, look how how much. I mean, we were in here last week, and there was eggs everywhere, and now they're cat. So she's definitely moved up, and she hasn't moved back down. And seven's definitely got larva everywhere. So she's on the outer edge of her brood nest right now, on frame nine, on the top. And she hasn't gone back down, and they've loaded it. Look at this. This is incredible. This is, uh, that's, a, that's how fast they moved up to the top. I mean, it's a whole, pretty much a whole frame of cat brood with honey and, neck, and pollen on the outer edge. 
And that's a heavy frame. So we're already looking at one. I mean, frame four. I mean, five is right here. So they're already got. They've already gotten into two, three, four, five frames on the top box already. And those are all eggs in the middle right there. Look at the look at that's. Dr I think it's going to be drone comb up here. See how big they are? They made them a lot bigger, opposed to the perfect cell up here. Yeah. So, well, if they're making drones, they're not. They're not concerned about anything else, I guess. Right? Isn't that that? They must feel comfortable in their situation. Otherwise, they wouldn't be making drones. So four, like I said, it's got a little bit, a lot of bees on this side, and. Yep, and it's all nectar on the outside. I'll do the old switcheroo up top here, because it works so well on the bottom. And let them have at it. So that's it. So one, two, three, four, five, five full frames drawn out. We'll be putting on a box probably next week. Put our put our third box on here. That's it. See you.